no matter how Hi guys, today I am filming on a new camera. Don't quite know how the settings work, so hopefully this lighting and stuff looks good. If not, I will fix it by my next video, I promise. Today's video is inspired by one that I saw Avery Ovar do. She basically made a video talking about the little things she does to help the environment. So I thought I would continue the spread of awareness and positivity around the environment and make a video like this of my own. I tried to come up with more creative ideas, so hopefully these will give you some new things to do rather than just like the same stuff you've already heard before. Yeah, let's get straight into the video. First thing I'm gonna talk about basically only applies to girls. Not basically, only applies to girls. And that is being more aware of the waste that your period products can create. I always kind of knew that like pads and tampons obviously were creating a lot of waste, but I didn't really do much about it until recently when I went out and bought cardboard tampons instead of the plastic ones that I used to buy. And obviously that's gonna make a lot of a difference because instead of throwing away 10 new plastic pieces every single time I'm on my period, I can throw away none. I also really wanna try using a Diva cup. Let me know if you guys want a video on it because I was gonna make one testing it out. Obviously that would be really good because it's completely reusable. So you would literally have like absolutely no waste whenever you're on your period, which would be awesome. So yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do that as a video. Kind of going along with that, the second thing I've written down is generally just replacing a lot of the plastic products that you may have. There's a lot of stuff that I feel like we use on the daily, but we don't really register. Kind of creates a lot of waste, like toothbrushes, for example, because of the type of plastic that they're made of, they can last a long, long time before they biodegrade. But I recently went to the convenience store and I actually saw that they were starting to make more toothbrushes that were like 30% bamboo, stuff like that. Like that's so easy to kind of switch over to and it basically requires no effort. Also stuff like soaps, the soap containers are gonna last a long time and just switching to a bar soap is literally the easiest thing that you could ever do and it's great for the environment. The third thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that I'm actually vegan. If you guys are subscribed to this channel, you know that I've been vegan for almost two years now. I think it's really good that there's been a larger spread of information about the effect that animal agriculture has on the environment, such as the carbon emissions and stuff like that, because that has led, I think, for there to be a higher demand in stuff like vegetarian meals, vegetarian burgers, you, you get the gist. Even though it would be amazing if everybody went vegan, I'm not gonna tell you guys to all do that, but just incorporating a couple of extra meals that are vegetarian or vegan would be really good to do for the environment. It's super easy to order a veggie burger instead of an actual burger, or to order a veggie curry instead of an actual meat curry. I don't know, what whatever, whatever you eat on the daily. It just switch it up a bit, I don't know. Also, the more demand, that we create, the more supply there's gonna be, which means that it'll start to become more and more easy to be vegan or vegetarian in the future as well. Okay, the next one I'm really excited about because I thought this was really cool when I found it. Basically, I was looking online and I discovered this search engine called Ecosia. And it's supposed to be like a eco-friendly search engine because around every 45 searches that you make, a tree gets planted and they have a bunch of projects all around the world if you want to watch a video all about it I'll link it down below because I thought it was really interesting but it's super easy to just switch over from using Google to Ecosia and it's really really easy to find information through the search engine itself as well and I feel like not a lot of people know about it I don't know why nobody's talking about it but here I am telling you guys about it so go check it out I haven't done much of this one, but the next one is something that I want to do more of, and that is just getting involved in a local community. I usually tend to see events on stuff like Facebook where they advertise things that you can sign up for, and me and a couple of my friends actually recently found a beach cleanup that's coming up where I live. And so we want to get together and do that, have fun doing it, but I also know that like we're doing something good for the environment. I'm guessing you could find stuff like that wherever you live. It obviously doesn't have to be a beach, but it could be anything. And that's a cool way to get involved. I don't know. 
reduce ordering. So stuff like Deliveroo, Postmates, whatever it is you use is actually really damaging to the environment. Obviously there's CO2 as well as just everything being wrapped in plastic whenever you buy stuff like that. I don't tend to order much anyway, but I've been trying to actively reduce how much I order because of the negative effects it has. And I recommend you do the same. Oh my god, my phone's at 1%. Social media is also a really great way to spread awareness. I love sharing little projects and stuff like that that I find on Instagram specifically. I have in my little memories thingy. If you go to my Instagram, you can find my little important memories thing that I have, which basically is a bunch of stuff that I've shared with you guys that I thought would be worth sharing. And I actually need to add new stuff to this. Why is somebody mowing the lawn right now? It's really pissing me off. Social media is obviously very interconnected with the rest of the world. So the second you post something, it might inspire someone else to repost it and it just spreads and it has a domino effect. So if you wanna kind of raise awareness or have something specific that you want to share with people, social media is the best way to do it. So that's something that I like to do in terms of promoting projects and things like that that I find. And the final thing that I have is just being more sustainable when it comes to fashion. I used to kind of have that mindset where I would buy a bunch all the time, but it would be like shitty quality and I wouldn't spend a lot of money on it. And then I'd only end up wearing my clothes a couple times because, you know, I didn't want to re rewear it. But after finding out more about how unsustainable a lot of fast fashion and stuff is, I've reduced how much I buy and instead would rather buy less but then spend more money and make sure that it, you know, comes from a good source or is just generally better quality. Oh my god, I have the hiccups now. Which not only is good for the environment, but also will help to set the working standards for a lot of workers in the fashion industry. In Oh my god! <laughs> industry a little bit higher. If you want to find out more about fast fashion, you can watch this documentary on Netflix. It's called... The true cost yeah that's everything that i came up with hopefully you guys like this video and came with some cool ideas if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you are not yet subscribed to moi so yeah i love you guys all to the moon or back and i will see you in my next video bye peace love happiness